I started this week with Pinocchio rotations. I had worked with imagined rotations in a perspective unit, but for this exercise, I copied them from Pinocchio's art. I believe that copying good rotations can help me learn how to better imagine them and draw them on my own with confidence, which is quite useful for building one's own characters. So I was very happy to work with this exercise. I then got back to working with Aaron Blaze's expression course again, first working with one character with different expressions and pushing them before the course moved to very specific emotions, the first one being happiness. We start with some happy emoji and then from the happy icon to a face and later work with one specific character from neutral to very subtle forms of showing an emotion and then pushing it very far. It's great to follow Aaron because he simplifies the faces in such an effective way and conveys such a range of clear emotions. Aaron also works with different types of characters, so we get to work with different degrees of an emotion and different ways of showing it, but also with different characters, young and old, which is quite useful. I later moved on to the second emotion, sadness. Again, we start with the sad emoji to then move to subtle sadness to quite visible sadness and proper crying. I have not finished sadness yet, there's quite a bit to go through, but following the lessons and drawing with them takes quite a bit of time. This week I've also finished the two scenes from the movie Ernest and Celestine that I had started last week, but I'm moving much slower with the scenes now that I'm working with characters. I also worked with more patterns, I really got into them, but now I'm looking forward to working on some illustrations. I hope to see you next week with more characters, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.